Number 36. A high altitude balloon is filled with 1.41 times 10 to the fourth liters of hydrogen at a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 745 torr. What is the volume of the balloon at a height of 20 kilometers where its temperature is negative 48 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 63.1 torr? Okie dokie. So we got more gas problems. Uh, they told us we had a pressure, right? And it's filled with, this balloon is filled with hydrogen and that's a gas. They're asking for a volume. So the best thing that we can do is write down everything that's given to us. And then from there, we could pick the right formula because there's tons of formulas, uh, you know, for the gas chapter. So let's just take it, you know, slow and just, just make sure that we, you know, cross our T's and dot our I's. Okay, here we go. So they told us that we had a, a balloon that initially had a volume of 1.41 times 10 to the fourth liters. So that's a volume. So 1.41 times 10 to the fourth liters. Now it was at this temperature. So these two go hand in hand, the volume and the temperature go hand in hand. So I have a T value of 21 degrees Celsius. And this also goes together, right? Cause they said that this volume was at this temperature and this pressure. So I'm going to list the pressure value and that's 745 torr. So now they're asking, what is the new volume? Okay. So now I have a, I have a, I'm finding out a new volume. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put this in different color. So I'm looking for a new volume V equals question mark. And this volume is at 25 kilometers, right? So this is like a distance or a height, they told us, right? So I'll just put that here. And they gave us a new temperature, right? Where the new temperature is negative 48 degrees Celsius. So I have a new temp of negative 48 degrees Celsius and a new pressure of 63 torr, 63.1 torr. Okay. Now take everything all to consideration to see which formula we're going to use. Remember when you have sets of volumes or sets of uh, temperature and sets of pressures, there's only one formula that you're going to use, right? And that's the combined gas law. That's this formula right here. It's your P1 V1 over T1 N1, right? Equals P2 V2 over T2 N2. Now the, the beauty of this formula is get rid of the units that they didn't tell you about. Well, we have two pressures, so this has to stay. We have two volumes, one of them we're solving for, so I'm gonna keep volume. They gave me two temperatures, that's gonna stay. But remember, N is moles. Did they say anything about moles here? Not that I see, so get rid of it. So now we're dealing with this. Now. You might be saying, but Christina, they told us that we were at 20 kilometers, right? Where does that go? Is there a height or a distance value in this formula? No. So do we care how high the balloon is up? Absolutely not. This was added information just to try to trick you. Remember guys, always trust the formulas. All right. Since this formula has no height or distance in it, we don't even care how high this is up. Now, we have one set and another set. It does not matter which one you label one and which one you label two. I guess on this side, since this is on the left, I'll say that these are V1, T1, and P1, and then these are your twos. Okay, so now the only rule that you have for this formula is that temperatures have to be in Kelvin. So I'm going to write that over here. T has to be in Kelvin, in K. For both of our temperatures, they gave us degrees Celsius. So before I even try to plug things in, I'm just gonna convert this into Kelvin, right? So convert this into Kelvin, convert this into Kelvin. We know how to do that. That's like way back in the day with chem, right? You could just plus 273. 
You could plus 273.15, but in this case, I think 273 is, you know, good enough. So 21 plus 273, I get 294 Kelvin. And maybe I'll put that uh, in black, 294. And then negative 48 plus 273, I get 225 Kelvin. For your pressure and your volumes, the units don't have to be anything specific. They just have to match. So in this case, I have tor for pressure and I have tor per pressure. So they match. That's all good. In this case, the volume is a liter. I'm going to solve for the other volume. So that unit will come out to be a liter. So let's just plug it all in. 745. Now when I'm plugging in my numbers, I don't put any units in because I just check beforehand. Uh, this one is 1.41 times 10 to the fourth, all divided by that new temp, which is 294. And this equals the twos. So the pressure was 63.1 times x, right, because I'm solving for that. I just like to use x. And this is over my new temperature, which is 225. Looks like good old cross multiplication to me. All of this is going to be multiplied with this. And then all of this will be multiplied with this. Okay, so let's go for it. 745 times 1.41 times 10 to the fourth times 225. Whoa, big number here. I'm going to try not to round because I'm not at my final answer yet. So I'm going to just say 2.36. Oh boy. Maybe I'll just keep the whole number. So 236. 351. 25. Zero, 00 equals 63.1 times 294. Right, 294. And I get 18551.4x. And then just solve for x. So I'm just going to divide by 18551.4. I'm going to do that on both sides. 18551.4. This cancels out. Beauty. And now we are at X, which I guess I'll just put over here. And let's see. So this number divided by this number. And I'm looking back, and it looks like we have three sig figs. So I'm just going to put this in three sig figs. 1.27 times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five. I think one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And since the first volume was in liters, this would also be in liters. And that's your final answer. Not bad, guys. What do you think? Don't get tricked up on, you know, information that they already give you. Not already give you, but that they give you and that you don't need. You guys got this, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in. Really hope this helped. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. We're almost at 15,000 subs. It's crazy. Uh, and we're not going to, you know, we're nothing without you guys. So thank you so much for all your support. And we really do appreciate you. Let's keep rocking and rolling. And I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.